<laughs> okay, we are um, here with Talk Wednesday, brought to us by the amazing Leanne Miles at Clinton Wilkins Mortgage Team, who has so generously sponsored uh, these talks. And with me today in the studio is the amazing Steph Wicks. <laughs> And Steph and I go way, way back. So this is going to be a fun, fun chat. Um, we won't say how many years we go back, but um, it will definitely be a fun, uh, a fun chat for sure. Steph is a dynamo, um, the uh, biggest cheerleader I think I know. And I'm a pretty big cheerleader. But um, <laughs> Steph is, is definitely, if you need some rah-rah in your life, she is most definitely your gal. So, um, Steph Wicks, welcome. Welcome to Pursuit 365 Talk Wednesday. It's a pleasure to have you here. How exciting is this, eh, Steph? And uh, it's it's really cool for us being the Stephs. And uh, as uh, it was said, Steph squared today. <laughs> so it's uh, it's very exciting what's going on with us. Uh, it's it, thank you for having me. I'm I'm jacked, obviously. <laughs> Cheerleader, woo! <laughs> well, it doesn't take much for you um, to get jacked. Like that's one of the things that I love about you is the energy that you bring to things, and um, your excitement and your enthusiasm for life is very very yes. infectious. So yes. um, I'm I would glad it's love working. for you to. <laughs> I say I'm glad it's working because I'm. I try. People are uh, just living in such dark places sometimes, and um, I just try to bring sunshine. Perfect. So I would love to share with people um, what was your main um, why in um, wanting to become part of Pursuit Three Sixty Five. Again, like so, I. I know for me, when I read other people's stories that they have this fabulous stuff going on, um, I like to be part of that too, part of that circle of of joy and excitement. Um, for me, meeting so many other people, you know, and one day a year, there's me and then there's another person the next day. It is, it is exhilarating to have that kind of a... Um, excitement in, in, in your circle, right? Like, and meeting new people. I love meeting new people. It's one of my most favorite things in the whole world to do. Um, it, it's, you never know who you're going to run into day to day. So being part of this book is, and, and, and the whole pursuit 365, um, event, like I, I it's an event because it, it just keeps going and going. There's so many, uh, positive things that come from this. And, and, and sometimes I think, oh, that's pretty exciting there. But then there's something else that pops up that we get to plug into, right? And it, it, it's like a circle. It just never stops. It's very cool. And it, it's hopefully never going to end, uh, the stuff that comes from this. Well, I think if, if um, the founder of Pursuit 365, Shelly Lynn Hughes, if she has her yes. way, this is, this is only <laughs> the beginning. We're only scratching the surface. And um, yeah, and really trying to work towards building a community, right? Where, yes. you know, people want to link hands, link elbows with other people, you know, on their pursuit um, to happiness and to goodness and, you know, putting positivity in the world and, you know, to be um, lifting one another up, right? And only wanting right. success. Um, you know, for others. And, yeah. um, you are definitely one of those people that, um, you know, your Thank motto you. is like, you know, how can I help? Right. Like That's right. <laughs> you, you need, you need t-shirts branded, um, you know, almost yeah. to a fault. Like I've had that conversation with you a few times where you're like, Steph, like, you know, come on. Um, but it, it, you, you definitely have a gift for service. So yes. I would love for you to share um, you know, with, with our, our audience here, what it is that you do, what, what, what is Steph about? I know that's a very broad question, but I know, <laughs> um, I know you can handle it. Yeah. 
So um, recently, my father passed, right? So a year and a half ago. So I've had to step up to a role to being the amazing daughter, um, which is very good because my mom and I, my mom was, she signed my, my, um, my marriage certificate for me as my person. Um, she is a very strong woman that has been an amazing role model through my life. Um, you know, when I've had to back down a little bit because I can be a bit much, uh, she then has stepped up and kept things better, right? She's the calm in the storm a lot of times for me. So that has been my role of late, um, caring for my mom that, I mean, she doesn't need a lot, obviously, very strong woman. Um, it's inspiring actually. And then, um, you know, I'm a wife and being a wife is a very busy job, as you know. <laughs> and, uh, then a mother is a very, very important role in my life, um, for my two kids. And, you know, they're, um, 21 and 15 this year. Um, my daughter just started her own little micro business of art things because she's so crafty. It's amazing to see her talents bloom. Um, and my son, ironically, uh, is a drummer. And that was my dad, right? He was my my drummer behind me my whole life. So it's going to be nice when James can can step into that role and, and do that too. But I sing. Um, and my job, as far as what I get paid to do, like you said, I am sort of this helper and I find places to help people um, have a better go of things. Um, I've been cleaning uh, real estate stuff, uh, doing estate cleanouts. Um, that's been really a huge blessing on me because of all my um, background of what I've done in the past. And so I've actually been able to help people move forward with moving out of their childhood home. It, it, that's a big deal, right? So, and again, that it, I believe God uses us in every manner. So that's prepping me to, you know, helping my mom when that time comes too, right? Uh, I also promote companies. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do is just obviously cheerlead for people and promote them. And, um, you know, I'm happy to help anyone get a word up and and uh, get their business out there, whatever they do. I, I don't care if they sing, they play, they dance, you know, whatever it is. If you, if you're selling your car, I, I want to help you do that. Right. So um, that's one of the things that I do with my business. I'm going to get into some customer service training. Again, I feel like people really need to have some insight on how to treat other people, especially in the service industry, right? Like, um, you, you don't know who's coming through your door. If, especially if you're in a restaurant environment, people want to go and have a, a really good experience at a restaurant with your waitress. <laughs> your job is to make sure that those people have the best time out because they could be leaving, um, handicapped children at home. This is the only break they get, right. Or, you know, taking care of a sick parent, they, you know, whatever it is, even just being a mom can be inundating or a dad, right? So, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you're just going out for drinks, they still need to have a really great experience. So I really believe that um, people need to learn how to serve other people better. I guess that's a good way to put it, right? It's amazing, right? When you talk things through, sometimes what comes out and then you're like, oh, I need to write that down. <laughs> yeah, I just literally um, was right? thinking that. <laughs> right? How we get those downloads and you're like, whoa, that was brilliant. <laughs> I'm on to something there, right? And and that's, again, the, the beauty, too, of, um, of being able to collaborate and meet with others and um, just spitball. Um, you yeah. know, I know that's that's one of the the things that I love, right? Because my brain never stops and I know Same yours here. never stopped. <laughs> and, um, yeah, which is wonderful and, and a curse all at the same time. That's yeah. for sure. Um, I know but, we've yeah. had so, some really great ideas back and forth. Hey, eh? like we, we could sit for hours and what about this? What about that? What about this? <laughs> well, and so many times too, so, you know, a lot of the things that I've been able to do uh, throughout, you know, my um, winding road of entrepreneurship, you know, I've been able to do because 
you know, you've been um, in the background cheering me on, you know, you've been oh, the you. person that I know I can call. And if you can, you're going to be there and give it your all. I'm telling Absolutely. you, if you need a gal to hustle <laughs> and, you know, yeah, to make things happen, Steph is is most definitely your your gal, and um, Steph truly has a heart of service, and um, you know there's there's something really really special about that, and that's why too I I knew that this project really oh. had your name written all over it. Right. This is this is really a, a, a real big plus uh, side of being part of the Pursuit 365, um, putting your voice not, you, you know, it's not just the book with the page, but the personality, the voice, the person um, seeing them talking to them. Right. That's got to be something really neat for you. Um, meeting people from all over the place, you know, on, we might be on a zoom call here, but it's real personal. Right. And, and it gets people out there going, Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, I need to connect with that person for sure. Right. So it's definitely uh, an asset. Well, on entrepreneurship sometimes can be a very lonely space. Right. And yeah. so often, um, you know, because it, it's busy and there's all the, the balls to juggle. And, and sometimes too, I know I struggled for many, many years with this idea that to be a business person, to be an entrepreneur, that um, I had to know everything. And so I was afraid oh. to reach out to people sometimes to ask for help, or I was afraid to admit that I didn't know something. And yeah. Um, the more people have let you see behind the veil of what reality is, you quickly realize that you're like, oh, OK, good. You know, I don't I know what I bring to the table and what skill set I have. And, and so the beauty of this community now is possibly finding somebody else that, you know, can can fill a need in my business to help me advance. And then then, you know, them helping me, I'm helping them. and. And that's really what it's all about. And I, again, I know you and what you stand for. And that's, that's, like, there's nothing that that's makes it. you happier than that. And especially knowing that you've had a hand in, um, you know, maybe connecting oh. those individuals. I, it, it's funny because I, I just, I, log stuff in the in my head and who does what and I'm nonstop trying to remember people and so when people say who can do this you know I I literally can name 10 people that could do that job right so it's it's uh it's not happened overnight that's for sure I've I've definitely banked stuff from you know my 53 years of being around and, and there's people like I deal with people still to this day that I met when I was like five years old. And um, it, it's very interesting how that whole don't burn your bridges. Well, sometimes you need to light those suckers on fire, right? <laughs> and run <laughs> <laughs> and run fast. But a lot of times you, you don't know how somebody's going to impact you right away. And that that's another thing, right? You you sometimes, you have a situation, you don't understand why you're not supposed to. So when it comes down to, you know, 10 years from now, you can understand, oh, well then that's why I met that guy. Cause I need that person's information or that lady or, you know, it, and I am a business card girl. I love my business cards. I love getting my information about people, you know, and, and I can, it somehow sticks. Oh, I've got a guy, a guy. I know a guy, right. Or, you know, and then you, you send the card off. I, I just take a picture and send it off. And usually people are pretty happy. Thanks Steph, you know, but I also like to know too, if, if that person is going to be recommended by me, that's my back too. Right. So I need to make sure that yep. the people I recommend are doing what they're supposed to be doing for my friends and people that I know. Right. That they don't fall, you know, yeah, through for sure. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, because no. you you are a person of true integrity. And Thank you. you know, that's um, you know, one of the many pillars that you you stand on. But Ooh, I like that pillar. <laughs> I can't help 
I can't help but um, you know come back to your comment earlier about um, you you saying about yourself that you know I know I can be a bit much for people sometimes yeah. and. <laughs> So, and, and I know in some interactions that I've had with you over the years that I've said to people, I said, I, I know Steph, Steph is like a puppy, you know, that sometimes doesn't know when to quit licking your face, right? Because you, you, you the most genuine place, right? But you know how sometimes like a puppy can bowl you over. Um, yes. But I think that the biggest thing with, with that story and that scenario is realizing to that we need to not look at others through our own personal lens, but instead look at meeting people from where they're coming from. Um, and really I try have that. always been, Go ahead. that's a great analogy of me being like a puppy licking faces. Cause again, I, I pretty much welcome everybody into my space and I and almost to a fault do I trust people. And, um, but you know what, I, I, I've been raised to be transparent and I'm accountable for everything that I do. I've never backed down from, you know, if somebody says I've done something, uh, yep. You know what? I'll say, I'm sorry right away. Uh, should I need to, if I don't, well, then I will be an account for that as well. You know, but I've, I, I try to give for forgiveness right away because it's given to me and I try to totally be like you say, a girl of integrity. My, I've always raised my children too to speak truth and character because those two things go together. If you don't speak the truth, you're not going to have good character. So trying to, you know, be that example constantly as well. It, it, it it's easy when you're you have nothing to lie about, right? Like you're speaking the truth. You don't have anything to remember except for, you know, getting older, people's names. <laughs> But it's, it's, it'll. So true. So true. But, so true. So what yeah, would be. True from uh, what comes from the inside, right? Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. It's your inside. It always like, it comes out. It always does. Yeah. Yes. I've, uh, I've had the uh, luxury of um, working with uh, an amazing coach um, through COVID that really taught me that whole um, like, and you, like I knew it, but, you know, really reflecting at, um, you know, cause again, we, we tend to, we can sometimes put our defenses up or we, or because somebody is so different from us that we don't, we don't know how to unpack that. And sometimes it's just even admitting that, you know, Hey, you know, I, you're making me feel this way. And I know you don't mean to that's no, right. But right. Because sometimes, too, we we don't know how how we're coming across. And um, yeah, and that's where a lot of the um, the conflict and whatnot can can come in. But um, yeah, it's I think ultimately, though, uh, the the message that I want to come through is is that really um, knowing that. So I had I had another friend who's actually in the book as well, and I'm planning to bring him on in a in a little bit with these Wednesdays. But I remember him saying to me, because I I am one of those people that um, I've always my dad taught me that if I don't do it myself, it doesn't get done right. And <laughs> yeah, I've had like to my dad learn and, and accept that if I don't do it myself won't get done steps way. And that's that doesn't right. mean it's wrong. That's right. And that's sometimes where I, I have to let go of things. So, yes. so my, my friend Sean had said to me, he says, but Steph, he says, remember, he says, remember what it feels like when somebody reaches out to you and they ask you for your help. How does that like, remember how that makes you feel, right? And I love that. I love that when somebody reaches out and wants my help with something or they want to pick my brain or whatever. So, but then when it comes time for me wanting to reach out and ask for help, then I get all in my head and I'm like, well, I don't want to bother them. I don't want to inconvenience them. I don't want to, right? And so then I'm potentially though taking that opportunity for somebody else to give, right? And that's again a, a 
such a strength of yours, Steph, that, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve, you put it all out there. And um, yeah, there's no, there's no guesswork. It was, uh, well, and again, some of my life experiences have helped curve some things in my life that, um, you know, I've had to become very humble about. And um, all of those things are part of my refining. Um, I was going to say too, so in that with, you know, maybe not reaching out or letting somebody help you when you know you, you probably need that help, right? In that, sometimes those are blessings, right? That people want to pass on. So if we, re if we don't receive those, then we're hindering some blessing from another person, right? So that was spoken to me a long time ago. And I think, oh my gosh, I don't want to be that girl either, right? So, you know, when people, um, uh, one time, a Christmas, and, and this came up in my memories not long ago, that it was a Christmas that a friend reached out to me during my hardest times and said, what can I do for you, Steph? Because I know you can do everything, but what can I do for you? What would be helpful? And humbling as it was, I didn't really have a lot of money that Christmas, so I, I said, you know, one of those Christmas hampers would be a, a delight. And, you know, cause it had some food in it for, you know, and some, it, it just was people donated. Right. And I said, only if they have extra, because, you know, and so sure enough, I got one of those and, and a comment actually was made by one of the people delivering it saying, I don't know why you're getting this. And I thought, Hmm. So at some point, somebody told that person, I really didn't deserve that, right? But it, I spun it back around for my own self and thought, my friend wanted to do this for me. And now what'll happen is because I know how cool that was. Every year I donate to stuff because I know what that's like. And honestly, again, to my fault, I try to give as much things as, as I can to, you know, different um, places in Sarnia, because that's where we live, right? That when people have a struggle, I try to help as much as I can with that too, because I know what it's like to, to be in that pit and, and keep looking at the rope like, um, you know, I'm too proud to grab the rope and pull myself out or, you know, climb that ladder because I, I just really think I can do it. Well, you know, um, people have to hold the ladder so it doesn't fall over and people have to hold the rope. So you need to remember that when you're in the middle of stuff, there's a reason. Um, I truly believe God sends the right people at the right time to help you through stuff too. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm uh, yeah, I just, well, said, and, again. And here, yeah. And here we are, we're blessed, right. To be part of this beautiful book, this beautiful yes. publication, Ooh. you know, oh, and so you know, so you and I are two of 365 other individuals from across our beautiful country, right? That now, you know, like we didn't know before, see, right? Right. If it's we can so, link so hands, cool. if we are willing to link hands, link arms, you know, and and lift one another up. Wow, like the stuff that we can make happen in this world will will make such an impact, like such yes. an impact. And that's that's a pretty that's a, a an amazing project, an amazing project. And you know, thank you, Shelly, yes. um, yes. you know, for dreaming this this beautiful um, book up um, because it's, and, it's and not just a book. Through. And following through because sometimes like we, we get in our head and we like, so can we really do this? And it, and it seemed like it was easy it, for me. It was a no brainer. Absolutely. I want to be part of this because now here's the other thing, Steph, we could probably show up at anybody's door. That's in this book. Hey, I'm a uh, pursuit 365, right? Page, whatever we are. <laughs> I think I'm like 124 or something like that. <laughs> and, and you know, they, come on in. What do you like? Nice to meet you, Steph. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and that is the kind mm -hmm. of really yeah. neat part of this, right? Or we just show up at their business and we can cheerlead them right then and there. Right. It's, it's very cool. Yep. Well, and that's where, um, so Jen, um, that was hosting, um, these talk Wednesdays previously, she had a lovely reception, uh, just over a year ago with, um, some gals from the first book. 
And oh, I don't know how I ended up showing up there, but I did. And I met some fabulous gals from, you know, Southwestern Ontario. And a few weeks later, um, I had, I had gone to run some errands at work one day, but I came back and there was a lovely note of one of the oh. gals that I'd met at this, you know, little gathering had, you know, happened to come by the sandwich shop uh, to eat. And, you know, that was, nice. that was incredible. Right. And, nice. um, and that's really nice. what it's all about. Um, you know, I used to live out on the West coast and, yes. you know, Shelly and I've had a couple of conversations and for sure next time, um, I'm out there, you know, I know I'll be going out for a drink with her and, you know, oh, we'll I get can't to wait know to see on. that. Oh, I can't wait to see oh. that. Oh, yeah. that's going to be great. And, and hopefully there'll be a few more people that I'll be able to meet through this that, you know, and whether it has anything, I, I, I think for me, part of my philosophy is, is it, it doesn't always have to benefit me directly in a business sense. Sometimes just nope. connecting with an other entrepreneur at a human level can yes. really, really make a difference. Um, that's so that's staff another, journey. Whoops. I was just going to say Go that's ahead. another part too, right? Is, is not, not everybody starts businesses. Not everybody knows how hard that is. You know, people work for people, but they still don't understand, right? So having that understanding of like, I got to haul it. This is what I'm doing. Um, it, this is on my shoulders. It, so talking to other people. And so sometimes having little conversations like that, that just they tweak, like at the beginning, it just gives this little tweak of just even words, some encouragement and um, that basic understanding of what you're going through kind of takes a weight off your shoulders. And then you you say, oh, well, I'm not alone, right? That like I'm with other people doing this exact same thing and we're all sort of on the same page doing this, right? So, and, it, and then that understanding mm -hmm. really just brings a peace and a calm when you might be having a bit of a crazy day, right? Right. Well, and knowing that, too, right? um, that you're not alone, <laughs> right? And that other business owners have, you know, have bad days, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, like, I don't know how many times I've said, you know what, like, I, I'm about ready to peace out here. And I'm just going to go um, get a job somewhere, you know, so I can work my, you know, eight to four thirty shift, or get my paycheck and, right, and be able to turn it off. But that's not. Yeah, then who would make the sandwiches? Nice. Who would make the sandwiches? Who would dream up these amazing that's sandwiches? That's not who I am at all. Oh my gosh. I was yeah. so excited when you had your sandwich shop. Oh, I, I was just so excited because food is your oh, thing. Thank you. It is thank totally you. So, your thing. <laughs> um, so Steph, you, you are, I, I think you're, you're evolving. I think so right now, yeah. Yeah. if somebody met you and they were like, Hey, you know, what, like, what do you do, Steph? What's, what's that elevator speech that they, <laughs> they speak about? What, what's Steph Wicks's elevator speech? So I actually have tweaked this to say, I do all things Steph, um, because I was trying to narrow it down and I can't, I don't know how to narrow down what I do. And I just say, I'm all things Steph, because as a Steph, you know, we can do so many things and and sometimes I have to learn no a little better. <laughs> no, I can't do that. But I love trying new things, right? And and I think the benefits, like how how to say this is, so when I was cleaning carpets, because I was a carpet tech, right, for a while. And when I was cleaning carpets and the impact I would have with people that were um, handicapped or just older people and just freshening up their homes and just being able to... Um, have that little dynamic change for them, right? So if I can impact people with just a little bit of what I can do, I want to be able to do that, right? And and I I don't charge a lot for what I do. I I try not to. I want to be a reasonable cost so that people don't aren't afraid to call me and go, hey, can you help me? I, I guarantee you'll get your money's worth out of me and then some, right? And I've had a lot of people say you should definitely charge more than you do, Stephanie. You know, and it's, it yeah. is what it is. Right. So I, I don't, it's not about the money for me. You know, I, I work because I know God will provide and I work because it's what I like to do. I don't, I don't like sitting idle 
first of all, it's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy to be idle and isolated. You have to be around people. We were made like a forest to be around other people. And, and we, we were meant to go through things too. This is another thing that was spoken to me a long time ago. We were meant we're, to go we're through creating things. human connections, right? Yes. It, it yes. really, truly really is about human connection. Absolutely. And, and we were created um, personal to personal level. Yes, to, to help each other. Like I go through things so I can help other people go through that because um there's a lot of things that I've been through, you know, um, that it's they're tough. They're really hard. So if I can help somebody else get through that, then I'm gonna jump hoops to do that, right? Like it doesn't matter. And, and even, even working with you, you know, it, it's fun learning how to make sandwiches. And, you know, when I, when you called me and said, Hey, can you fill in here? Both of your businesses, it was like right there, bang, bang. And you know, it, it yes. it's fun and it keeps it fresh. Yep. A few weeks ago, guys, I literally had the perfect storm. I'm the owner of two different businesses, and my right-hand gal at one business was was away on vacation, and my right-hand gal at my other business got COVID, and it was like the perfect storm, and I I was in the weeds so fast, and um, and Steph, you know, Steph came to my rescue, and she's so adaptable, and um, she's a quick study, and I was just, just a willing. Say I can learn, I guess. <laughs> teachable <laughs> yes yes so it's interesting because steph and i were at an event together a few weeks back and we were yakking and i said to her i said i think you i think you need to just put yourself out there as as a professional helper um <laughs> really and you know because they like in business it really boils down to what problem do you solve and who do you solve it for and right. you know right. you you truly are um a, a professional helper and um and you that, are that's my sales that's my the sales president, the ceo <laughs> all all the things um for sure in that department yeah. yeah i could i could definitely like i'm not scared to do anything really like and that's what i think um it, it as we were talking just now it made me realize i used to coach baseball and soccer and whatever my kids were and i coached and uh so when I would tell my kids, learn every aspect, you know, be able to play first, second, third and short and home and, you know, left center and right field, be able to do that. Because when you say somebody gets hurt, who's the, who are they going to ask uh, the guy that's never done it? No, you know, get out there and go. Right. So, um, you know, I can, I can do the same thing pretty much. I'm a little scared of, uh, short and let and third base they come a little quick i like my teeth <laughs> but you know what's um i'm gonna get that those bases next year when i play i'm gonna do it again go. i'm gonna try it just because i i don't like fear fear is, so Steph, is uh, where yeah. um if somebody wanted to to reach out to you if somebody wanted to get to know you better somebody maybe wanted to pick your brain or or get you to come in and, and be, you know, be their helper. Where, where can people find you? Where uh, do you have a favorite social media platform that you hang out on? Are you on all the plat? Like where, where's the best place for someone to find Steph Wicks? So I, I'm on Linktree as well. Um, Linktree, Steph Wicks, uh, Stephanie Wicks, sorry. Um, and that has a whole bunch, like Linktree is amazing because it doesn't cost anything, first of all. And you can put all your links in there, right? Um, so there's that. And uh, I hang out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn. Um, I'm getting out there a little more on some other uh, social media platforms because you know, promotion. That's what I do. Um, also just pick up the phone and call me. Uh, if you're scared, text me, <laughs> email me if you don't want to uh, do any of that too. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, just get a hold of me. I, I will certainly contact you and get back to you. And if, if I'm not the right fit or say, you know, I'm not able to do it, but I need a little bit of time or something, I'd be happy to help for sure. And, and that's the thing with what I can and can't do. I don't, you know, there has to be some barriers in your life. Sometimes boundaries are good. Always learn that. Um, but the thing is no has to work sometimes. So some, and that's some, I'm working on that saying no, my own self, when I get over, 
overachieving it's a sentence. It's a complete <laughs> sentence. Yes. Over, <laughs> overachieving when I think I can and I can't. Right. I need to learn how to say no sometimes right. to people that and it might not be in my yeah, best I, interest. I say to clients people. all the time, you know, reach out, ask. The the yeah. worst I will say is no or or I can't then. Yep, but exactly. ask. Right. Yeah, Always because how? ask. Um, you know, because I will do I will do my darndest, you know, to do what I can. But sometimes the answer has to be no because we can't, you know, we can't do it all. We're That's we're pretty amazing. We, we like but to. We're not that amazing. <laughs> We, we like to us, Steph, right. don't we? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, Steph, if, if um, we're we're gonna wrap up here, but if you'd like to, awesome. you know, how would you like to? Um, what's what's a, a mic drop? What's what's a last, you know, sign off comment oh. or statement <laughs> or something that you would love to to leave um, our audience with? I just love to tell people, go be amazing because you already are. And if you need to be told you're amazing, give me a buzz because I will tell you because I'm sure there's every little bit of you that, oh, but just go be amazing because you are. Oh, I love that. And you know what? More people do need to hear that and believe that and, um, you know, I, I know I'm my harshest critic and, um, you know, having, having a cheerleader in your back pocket, I, I really lift other people up well, but, um, I can be, um, yeah. really, really hard on myself. So, um, yeah, you know, we are thank our you. worst enemy sometimes, aren't we? For sure. For sure. But yes, we, we, each and every one of us is amazing. Um, just just because right so um anyways thank you so much for your time and for being here with me steph um it's been oh, a pleasure you. chatting and it's been uh, yeah. it's been great to um to share your energy with uh, our pursuit 365 community so thank you for that and, i just want to um, say if, if if you haven't got the book then you need to go get the book oh and we should plug our december 12th book signing steph Oh yeah, this, yeah, December um, 12th uh, in Sarnia. So anybody in Southwestern Ontario, um, right. we are um, having a um, a uh, a meet and greet uh, with oh, other no. authors and just a, a great uh, mingling. And if you know of someone too that needs to be in this book, right? Um, oh. I'm sure if you're listening, right, that there's a few people that are coming to mind that you're like, yes, they, they stand for all these things. They stand for lifting others up. Um, yeah. Definitely share because this, uh, this year's book coming out is going to be stellar. And this newest book coming out for 2023 is very, very business centered. So not only is it um, uplifting, but it's a great opportunity for businesses to um, have a beautiful platform to stand on. So please help and us spread networking. the word and let's, and let's fill uh, fill these pages yeah. with more amazing people. Um, yes. So again, thank you to our sponsor for Talk Wednesdays, um, uh, Leanne Miles and her team at uh, Clinton Wilkins Mortgage. And um, yeah. Uh, until next week, um, take care and um, have a great night. Thanks for having me. Thanks for.